Here are 30 most commonly asked skull-related interview questions. In Business Intelligence BI Developer Interviews, along with detailed answers. 1. What is business intelligence? And how does Skull play a role in BI development? Answer. Business intelligence involves the use of data analysis tools and techniques to make informed business decisions. Skull is essential in BI development for querying, aggregating, and transforming data from various sources to provide meaningful insights. 2. Explain the difference between OLAP and OLP. Answer. OLAP online analytical processing is used for complex queries and reporting in BI, focusing on read-heavy operations. OLP online transaction processing handles day-to-day -day transactional operations, emphasizing write-heavy activities. 3. How do you optimize a skull query for performance in a BI environment? Answer. Oh. Optimize queries by using appropriate indexing, using unnecessary columns in the select statement, avoiding select queries, and considering denormalization for reporting purposes. 4. Describe the process of designing a star schema in a data warehouse. Answer. A star schema involves a central fact table surrounded by dimension tables. The fact table contains quantitative data, and dimension tables provide context. Design involves identifying key business measures and dimensions. 5. What are slowly changing dimensions, and how do you handle them in a data warehouse? Answer. Slowly changing dimensions SCDS deal with changes in dimension attributes over time. SCD type 1 updates the attribute directly, type 2 adds a new row, and type 3 adds new columns. Choose the appropriate type based on business requirements. 6. How do you implement role-level security in a BI system? Answer. Role-level security can be implemented using security filters, views, or stored procedures. Define security rules based on user roles or attributes to control access to specific data rows. 7. Explain the purpose of an ETL process in BI development. Answer. TL extract. Transform load processes involve extracting data from source systems, transforming it into a suitable format, and loading it into a data warehouse for analysis and reporting in BI systems. 8. What is a cube, and how does it relate to BI development? Answer. A cube is a multi-dimensional data structure used for analytical processing. It contains dimensions, measures, and hierarchies, providing a way to organize and query data efficiently for BI reporting and analysis. 9. How do you handle large datasets in BI reporting to ensure optimal performance? Answer. Handle large datasets by using indexing, optimizing queries, implementing partitioning strategies, and considering summary tables or aggregates for frequently queried metrics. 10. Explain the concept of a fact table and provide an example of its use. Answer. A fact table contains quantitative data facts and foreign keys linking to dimension tables. For example, in a sales data warehouse, the fact table could include sales amount, product id, and dated. 11. What is a measure in BI, and how is it different from a dimension? Answer. A measure is a numeric value representing a business metric, such as sales, revenue, or quantity sold. Dimensions provide context and include attributes like product, customer, or date. 12. How do you handle data quality issues in BI development? Answer. Address data quality issues through data profiling, cleansing, and validation processes. Implement data quality rules and monitor data integrity regularly. 13. Explain the purpose of a surrogate key in a data warehouse. Answer. A surrogate key is a unique identifier assigned to a dimension attribute to maintain integrity. It is used in place of natural keys, allowing for easier updates and consistency in data warehousing. 14. How do you create dynamic reports in a BI tool using Skull? Answer. Use parameters or variables in Skull queries to create dynamic reports. 
BI tools often allow users to input parameters, affecting the query's results dynamically. 15. What is the role of a BI developer in the data modeling process? Answer. BI developers play a crucial role in designing and implementing data models, including conceptual, logical, and physical models. They ensure the models align with business requirements and optimize data retrieval. 16. Explain the difference between a star schema and a snowflake schema. Answer. A star schema has a centralized fact table with denormalized dimension tables, while a snowflake schema normalizes dimension tables by breaking them into sub-dimensions. Star schemas are typically easier to query. 17. How do you handle slowly changing dimensions in a type-to scenario? Answer. In a type-to scenario, create a new row with an updated version of the dimension and maintain historical records with start and end dates to track changes over time. 18. Describe the concept of data granularity and its importance in BI. Answer. Data granularity refers to the level of detail in the data. It is crucial in BI to determine the appropriate level of detail for reporting and analysis, balancing performance and precision. 19. How do you incorporate data from external sources into a BI system? Answer. External data can be incorporated through ETL processes or direct integration, ensuring data consistency and quality. Use connectors, APIs, or web services to fetch data from external sources. 20. Explain the concept of drill down and roll up in BI reporting. Answer. Drill down involves moving from a higher level of data aggregation to a more detailed level, while roll up is the opposite. Moving from detailed data to a higher level of aggregation. These capabilities support in-depth analysis. 21. How would you optimize a query with multiple joins in a BI system? Answer. Optimize queries with multiple joins by ensuring indexes on join columns using appropriate join types and considering denormalization or materialized views for complex queries. 22. What is the role of indexing in a BI database, and how do you choose the right columns to index? Answer. Indexing improves query performance by facilitating quicker data retrieval. Choose columns frequently used in where, join and order by clauses for indexing, considering cardinality and selectivity. 23. How do you handle real-time data updates in a BI environment? Answer. Real-time data updates can be handled through change data capture CDC mechanisms, triggers, or streaming processes. Ensuring that the BI system reflects the latest data changes. 24. Explain the importance of data warehousing in BI development. Answer. Data warehousing provides a centralized repository for organized and optimized data, enabling efficient reporting analysis and decision-making in BI systems. 25. How would you design a BI solution for mobile access and user interactivity? Answer. Design a responsive BI solution with mobile-friendly interfaces. Implement interactive dashboards and reports, and consider touch-friendly features for an optimal mobile user experience. 26. Describe the use of common table expression CTEs in BI development. Answer. CTEs provide a way to create temporary result sets within a query. They are useful for simplifying complex queries, improving readability, and enabling recursive queries. In BI development, 27. What is the role of a BI developer in ensuring data security and compliance? Answer. BI developers play a role in implementing security measures, such as role-based access control RBAC encryption and auditing. They also ensure compliance with data protection regulations. 28. How do you approach version control and change management in a BI environment? Answer. Implement version control for BI artifacts such as ETL scripts, reports, and dashboards. Use change management processes to track and document changes, promoting a controlled development environment.
29. Explain the concept of data mining and its relevance in BI. Answer. Data mining involves discovering patterns, trends, and insights from large datasets. In BI, it helps uncover hidden information for better decision-making, customer segmentation, and predictive analytics. 30. How do you handle unstructured data in a BI system, and what tools or technologies would you use? Answer. Unstructured data can be handled using tools like Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark, or specialized databases for unstructured content. ETL processes may involve data transformation to extract insights from unstructured sources. These bi-related interview questions cover a variety of topics, including data modeling, ETL processes, data warehousing, and optimization strategies. Tailor the responses based on the specific BI tools and technologies used by the organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.